my yogis, today we'll do a one hour yoga class to target any strain or pain in the neck, shoulders, and hip region, which are usually targeted when you work in the office for long hours or at a desk at home. So let's get started. We're gonna start in a seated meditation. So you can choose any seated position that is most comfortable for you. That can be just an easy sitting posture. You can sit on your knees. Or if you want, you can lay on your back if sitting is just really uncomfortable. There's many options for you. You can use also props. Props are always welcome. So if you want to sit on a pillow and raise your hips to be higher than your knees, that can feel more comfortable as well. So just pick your seat and close your eyes. Your hands can be wherever they want to be either in the center, by your legs, on your knees, palms facing up, palms facing down. The options are endless. I just want you to be as comfortable as possible. So the eyes are closed. You're just going to tune into your breath. Feel the movement of your breath. How it travels through the nose all the way down to the belly and then all the way back out through the nose. Breathing deeply and slowly through the nose. Feeling the movement of your breath. Seeing where you feel it the most, maybe at the tip of your nose, maybe at your chest or your belly. And just observing, observing your own body, your own posture, your own breath. Today we'll do a practice for the neck and shoulders region, something that's usually targeted when working in an office or on a computer for long amounts of times in a seated position, sitting at a chair or at a desk. Lots of strain can start to build up in the shoulders and neck and hips region, so we're really going to focus on those areas today, releasing tension, feeling relaxed and rejuvenated. start to go a little bit deeper into our breath you can bring one hand to the heart and one hand to the belly and feel the movement under your palms your belly and chest expanding forward with every inhale and contracting back to center on every exhale Connecting deeply to your breath. Connecting to the sounds around you, to the sensations you feel with your body against the ground sensation of your palms connecting to your body. See where your mind goes while you sit here in this silent short meditation. If your mind starts to wander, bring it back to your breath. Just focusing on your breath for this short moment here. Feeling 100% present in the moment, in your body, in your mind. And slowly 
release the hands and bring them back down to wherever it feels comfortable. Just take a moment to feel the effects of this deep breathing exercise. And slowly open the eyes. We'll start with a little warm up. If you're not already seated, come to a seat and let's start circling the neck in one direction. Try moving as slow as possible to really feel the movement and the stretch on every inch of your neck. Connecting the movement to your breath still. Breathing deeply through the nose as you move your head in a circle. Change direction. Feeling this deep stretch on all sides of your neck. Releasing any tension or blockages you might find in your movement. Come back to center. We'll bring your right hand over your head, coming above your left ear, or maybe holding your left ear. Slowly start to tilt the head to the right side. Let's take three deep breaths here. Moving the hand a little bit further towards the back of your skull, behind your neck, and looking down towards your knee now. Pull in that direction slightly to stretch a different region of your neck. Slowly release the hand, let's change sides. Lifting the left hand overhead, grabbing your right ear, maybe a little above it, tilting the head slightly to the left, stretching the side lateral stretch on the neck, on the right side now. Breathing deeply. Slowly move the hand towards the bottom of your skull region, top of your neck, behind your ear, and start to look towards your left knee. And then slowly use the weight of your arm to go deeper into the stretch of the neck in the back right region. Slowly release, back to center. You're gonna take your hands and interlace them. And place it on your lower skull behind your head. And pull the head forward, tucking your chin to your chest for a moment. Make sure you keep the spine long here. We're not curling the spine, the spine is still straight. Just tucking the chin to chest. Focusing only on the neck here. Release your hands from your lower skull region and place the fingertips under your chin. And inhale, start to push on your chin and look up. Keeping the spine long here, make sure you're not coming into a back bend and overextending, just focusing on the neck. And exhale, release. Come back to center. Inhale, the hands will raise all the way up, still intertwined, still interlaced. And really stretch the hands up like you're getting a deep stretch here in the shoulders. The head is relaxed. 
just reaching with the arms, almost like you're hugging your head with your arms here. Take three deep breaths. And start to turn towards the right side, only turning from your upper body here, looking towards the right as well. Coming into an upper body twist. Changing sides, slowly turning towards the left with the upper body, looking towards the left. Also building a bit of strength here in the shoulders, I'm sure you can feel. And come back to center. Let's bring the hands forward and start curling the upper back, almost like you're pushing a wall in front of you, stretching the whole upper back region. And release the hands slowly. Place them behind your back on the ground. Stay high on your fingertips to make sure the arms are active and you're not leaning too much weight onto your hands. Using your fingertips to feel grounded here, start pushing the chest forward, shoulders back. Taking five deep breaths here in this seated chest opener version variation. Every time you come into a heart opening posture, you allow more space for your lungs to expand, going into deeper spaces and deeper breaths within the chest. If it feels comfortable, you can look up or you can stay looking forward depending on what's comfortable for you and your neck today. Slowly release. We'll inhale the hands up. Long spine here, feeling space between every vertebrae. And exhale, come to the right side, coming into a side bend, lateral stretch here on the left side of the body. You can stay looking forward or look up towards your left hand. You can also take a variation here in the arms, staying up on your fingertips and just working here or coming down onto your forearm and elbow. What's important here though is that you make sure that the left hip stays grounded and you don't end up lifting the left knee and hip off the ground because you'll lose half of the stretch. So make sure the hips stay grounded, legs stay grounded. And really reach over, reach up and over. Keep the chest forward, make sure you're not collapsing towards that right hand. And let's change sides. Inhale, the hands come back up. Long spine, exhale, coming down onto your left hand or onto your left forearm. And reaching the hand up and over, feeling this beautiful deep lateral stretch on the right upper body. And we sit for long periods of time. The ribs and the spine can start to collapse onto each other from the weight of gravity. So we really want to work on these beautiful opening postures here to create more space and room in the body. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, bring the hands forward in front of you. And cross the right arm over your left, bending the left hand and bringing the right arm as close as possible, coming into a deep shoulder stretch here. Take three deep breaths. Inhale, hands come back forward, straight in front of you. Extend the fingers up. Exhale, change sides, bringing your left arm over your right arm the top part of your arm, bending the right arm towards you. And the fingers can stay open or in a fist, whatever's more comfortable for you. And start to bring that left arm closer to you as much as possible. Three deep breaths. Inhale. 
Inhale, open the hands behind you, reaching the chest forward, shoulders back, big opening gesture. And exhale, give yourself a big hug, crossing one arm over the other. And keep inching your fingers towards each other in the back, going deeper into this posture, stretching your shoulders. And we'll change sides. Inhale, open the heart forward. Exhale, change the cross of your arms. Give yourself a big hug again. And inch the fingers towards each other, going deeper into the posture. And slowly release the hands. Start to lean back up to your fingertips and unwind your legs and place them on the ground. We'll come into an angle four stretch here, going deep into the hip region. So we'll lift the right leg and place the ankle right below the knee on the thigh. For more and less intensity, you can play with your upper body. So for more intensity, you'll bring your upper body closer to your leg. And for less intensity, you'll move further back on your hands. What's important here is you keep the right leg flexed to protect the knee joint. And then use the energy of your leg to push that knee forward. Push the knee forward, going deep into this hip posture stretch. Taking five deep breaths here through the nose. Always feel free to close your eyes and go deep into the inner body seeing what you feel inside, detaching from your surroundings. Let's change sides. Placing the right foot back down on the ground, lift the left leg up and place that left ankle right below the right knee on the thigh. Flex in the left foot Pushing the knee, the left knee away from you without physically pushing with your hands, just with the energy and the muscles in your thigh. And then again, choosing where you want to be on your hands, either closer to the leg for more intensity or further away. Five deep breaths. Make sure the heart is reaching forward and you're not curving the spine towards the ground. Free to make any adjustments you need to feel more comfortable in every posture we do. Exploring your body is a beautiful thing, being aware of your body. If something doesn't feel perfectly right for you right now, it's important to find that perfect position, maybe bring the leg out further in every position. Just listen to your body and I'm sure it will find the perfect place. And slowly release the left leg back down towards the ground. Coming with our hands behind us, we're going to lift up into reverse tabletop, lifting the hips up towards the sky. Look up towards the sky as well. Don't drop the head back. Let's keep the spine nice and long. And exhale, sit back down. Inhale, raise the hips. Exhale, back down. One more. Inhale up. Exhale back down. From here we'll cross over our legs and come forward onto our knees. Bringing your knees together and your toes together. Coming into a deep toe stretch and um, sole of the foot stretch. Also stretching the ankles. For some this can feel very painful or uncomfortable. But I promise it just means that you need to do it more often. <laughs> With time and practice, it gets easier and more comfortable after your foot becomes more free, more activated. So just breathe deeply and make sure you're really sitting on your heels. If you need to, you can always come forward on your hands and play with the weight here until you can start to sit on your own on your heels.
breathing deeply. Trying to quiet the voice in your head that says you have to get out of this posture. <laughs> By connecting to your breath, your body releases. It allows you to find the comfortable place within the uncomfortable place. Which is good for yoga and life as well. And let's slowly release, bringing the hands forward. And start tapping the feet, waking up in the toes, waking up in the ankles, allowing the energy to be activated and flow freely. And we'll do the reverse now. Still, knees are together, ankles are together. Moving the weight to your fingertips. And again, you can stay here. If you already feel it on the top of your ankles, deep enough, just stay here. Or you can come back onto your fingertips and start to lift your knees up. Next level here is also bringing your hands to heart center and balancing. So now that you have all the variations, you can choose what is best for you today, what feels right for you today. And slowly release. Coming forward onto your hands, finding yourself in a tabletop position. Hands beneath the shoulders, knees beneath the waist, beneath the hips. Just take a moment to find your tabletop, looking at your alignment, making sure your hands are beneath your shoulders. If you have any wrist problems or wrist pain, you can bring the hands a little bit more forward so it's less weight, less weight bearing directly on the wrist. Make sure the fingers are really spread out and you're grabbing the mat, activating your fingertips and the muscles in your hands. And let's start circling on the wrists here, really warming up those wrist joints. Connecting the movement to your breath. You can start slowly and then start to find bigger circles or just stay slow and small. Listening to your body and what feels good today for you. Change direction. We'll come back to center. And come into a cat-cow movement, working on the flexibility of our spine. Inhale, look up and drop the belly towards the ground. Exhale, push off of your hands, push off of your legs, squeeze your glutes. Raise your spine to the sky. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale. Exhale. Feel free to move as slow or as fast as you want. Going up for a couple more rounds here. Feeling the movement of your spine, bending in both directions. Extension and flexion. And from here, we'll lift up onto our toes and raise our hips to the sky, coming into our first downward dog. So take a moment here to find your downward dog. Hands should be about shoulder width, fingers facing forward, palms placed strongly into the ground, squeezing all the fingertips. Legs should be about hips distance. And spine should be long here. You should be pushing the weight from your hands to your feet, lifting the hips up towards the sky, finding this beautiful long spine. If you feel like your back is curved, then bend the knees a little, push onto your hands again and find that long spine. It's more important than finding the straight leg or finding the heels on the ground. It doesn't have to look like the perfect downward dog. We just want to make sure that your back is straight here. It's really important. 
And downward dog is an amazing posture for an overall body stretch, strengthening the wrists, stretching the whole back, stretching the hamstrings. Really amazing whole body posture. And start to walk your feet forward towards your hands, slowly. And grab opposite elbows and start to dangle side to side, coming into a dangling forward fold. You can keep the knees bent here, feeling fluidy, feeling bouncy, light energy here. Breathing deeply through the nose. And slowly start to come up to a standing position. And close your eyes for a moment. Feeling the circulation flow back through your body after we were inverted for a short while. We'll bring the feet together and flow through four half a salutations just to warm up the body and get a full body circulation flow going. So big toe to big toe. Inhale, the hands come up. Make sure the knees aren't locked. The belly is activated. All the weight of your body should be above your feet. Exhale, come down towards the ground into a forward fold. Let's bring the left leg all the way back, coming into a low lunge, dropping that left knee towards the ground. Inhale, look up, stretch your throat region uh, forward. Place your hands on the ground, bring your right leg back into a plank, and drop your knees. Exhale, bring your belly to the ground. Inhale into cobra. Pushing the shoulders away from your ears. Exhale, downward dog again, coming onto your toes, lifting your hips up towards the sky. Look forward, bring the left leg all the way forward. If you need to help, you can use your hands to help bring the leg towards the front of the mat. Drop the right knee, inhale, look up. Stretch the throat region. Big toe to big toe, coming towards the top of your mat. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up. Palms together. Exhale, hands to heart center. And let's do the other side. Know that you can always do variations if you need to, listening to your body, if you need more of a wide ankle stance to feel more balanced. Listen to your body. Going on the right side now. Inhale, the hands up. Exhale, forward fold. Right leg back all the way. Drop the right knee. Inhale, look up. Place the hands on the ground. Come back to a plank. Exhale as you drop the knees and the belly towards the ground. Inhale into cobra. Pushing the heart forward, shoulders away from the ear. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward dog. Look forward, bring that right foot all the way in between your hands, helping if you need to. Drop the left knee, inhale, look up. Big toe to big toe, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come up. Look towards your palms, exhale, hands to heart center, samastitihi, rest. One more on both sides. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, forward fold. Left leg back. Inhale, look up, low lunge. Hands to the ground. Walk back to your plank. Exhale, knees to the ground, belly to the ground. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Look forward, left leg comes all the way in between your hands. Drop the right knee, inhale, look up. Exhale, big toe to big toe, forward fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Last one. Inhale up. Exhale down. Head to knees. 
right leg back, drop the right knee, inhale, look up. Bring your foot back to plank. Exhale as you drop the knees and bring your belly to the ground. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Look forward, bring that right leg all the way in between your hands, dropping the left knee. Inhale, look up. Exhale, big toe to big toe, head to knees. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Let's take a moment to open the body. Coming into a wide-legged stance, not too wide, a bit wider than hips distance. Hands by the hips, palms facing forward, and close the eyes. <sighs> Taking deep breaths here through the nose. Feeling the energy moving through your body, the heat you created just from a few rounds of salutations. Stretching and strengthening the entire body. Use your deep breath to slow down your heartbeat. Hmm. We'll close the legs to about hips distance and bring the hands on your lower back, fingers facing down as if you were putting your hands into your back pockets. We're gonna inhale, look up and open the heart forward, coming into a standing back bend. And exhale through the mouth, release forward into a forward fold. Slowly rise up. Let's do it again. Hands to the lower back. Inhale, reaching the heart forward. Exhale through the mouth, release completely. Down, folding forward. Let's do it one more time. Inhale, hands to lower back, reaching into your standing back bend. Exhale through the mouth. Releasing completely and slowly rolling the spine back up. Coming into some balancing, we'll start to ground into our left foot. Lift the right leg behind you and grab hold of your foot. Keeping the leg as close as possible to your left leg still. If you need to stand by a wall, you can do that as well. For extra balance help. And pull that right leg towards you, coming into a deep quad stretch, stretching the front of your thigh. Take three deep breaths here before we continue. Focus on one point in front of you on the ground or the wall that can help you balance. In Sanskrit, this is called adrishti, or one pointed focus. Let's slowly bring our right hand towards the inside of our right foot by our big toe. And lift that left hand up towards the sky. You can stay here. This is a prep for dancer pose. Or you can start to lean your upper body forward. Pick your right hand into your right, uh, pick your right foot into your right hand. And lean with the left hand forward. Keeping the heart open and strong, facing forward. Coming into a beautiful dancer pose. Three deep breaths here in whatever variation of the pose you chose. And slowly come back to center. Left hand comes up. Bring the right knee to chest and slowly back down towards the ground. Beautiful, let's change sides. Balancing on the right foot now, really grounding in that right foot before you lift the left leg. It's super important to really root through that foot before you go into balancing postures. And grab that left foot with both of your hands for a moment, coming into a quad stretch. Reaching the heart forward still, long spine here. 
Focusing on that one point that's helping you balance. Slowly move that left hand to the inside of your left foot by the big toe and the right hand by your ear. You can stay here or start to lean forward with the upper body, finding your dancer pose, kicking your left foot into your left hand, reaching the right hand forward. Three deep breaths. And slowly with control, bringing the right hand back up, leg back to center, left knee to chest, and back down to the ground. You can shake out the legs for a second. And bring the feet together. Big toe to big toe, we'll come into chair pose. Inhale, the hands come up, we're dropping the hips. Make sure you can still see your toes and your legs are pressing up against each other, feeling stable like one giant stable leg here, more weight, more pressure on the ground than just one leg. Also make sure you're not coming into too much of a back bend here and leaning with the belly forward. Tuck the tailbone under, keep a nice long spine, active core, and drop down again. Breathing deeply here, we'll start to add some movement. Inhale, straighten the legs. Exhale, chair pose. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Two more. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, beautiful. From here, We'll come into a forward fold. You can bend the knees or widen the stance if that's more comfortable and you feel more balanced. Or you can keep the feet together, it's up to you. We'll take our hands behind our back, interlace our fingers and come into a shoulder stand variation of a forward fold. Just let the weight of your hands fall over your head while you're stretching your hamstrings at the same time. Breathing deeply through the nose. Two more breaths. And slowly bring the hands back down to the ground. And come to a wider angle with your leg, but wider than hips distance to sit in a yogi squat. In our yogi squat, the whole foot is planted onto the ground. If it's not for you, you can place something under your heels, maybe a pillow or a towel or a blanket or a block or a book, lots of different prop options, or you can just stay high on your heels if you don't want to use a prop or we're flat on our feet. You can choose to have the hands on the ground or bring the elbows in between the knees and hands to heart center. <sighs> Whatever variation you chose, work on opening the heart forward and lengthening in the spine. This is a great pose to work on strengthening your posture. Finding a beautiful open hearted posture here. We don't want to ever feel collapsed or closed forward, which happens a lot from working on the computer or driving a lot. We end up closing this whole forward region of our body. So we really want to open up this whole, the front side of our body. Find length here. Taking five deep breaths through the nose, you can choose to close the eyes if that feels comfortable for you. Slowly bring the hands to the ground. 
and tuck your toes under, coming onto the tops of your feet. And slowly slide down into a wide-legged child's pose. Straight from that yogi squat. If you want, you can place a pillow underneath you for extra comfort, or just resting the forehead on the ground. If you're looking towards one side, I'll tell you when to change sides as well. Your hands can also be forward to go deeper into the shoulder region, or you can hug your heels and place your hands by your legs. Lots of options for your practice personalized just for you. Breathing deeply, of course. Almost feeling like you're breathing from your back. Normally, we always feel our breath on the front side of our body. It's nice to find this balance of breath throughout your whole body. So now we're focusing on our back. Feeling your ribs expand outwards from the back region. And your lower back expanding. <sighs> Breathing deeply, releasing tension from your back region from your hips, from your knees, and from your ankles. If this is too much for you, you can place a pillow also between your, the back of your thighs and your calf muscles so there's less pressure on your ankles and knees. Taking a couple more deep breaths here, enjoying this restorative posture. If you haven't changed sides, then change sides now. If you were looking towards one direction, then look towards the other. Forward. 
You can stay here if you prefer to work on this long spine and heart opening variation, or you can start to fold forward slowly. Work to wherever that is for you. It can be on the hands or on the forearms, depending how deep you want to go into your hip opening posture. Taking five deep breaths here. Slowly start to come up. We'll cross over our legs, bringing our right leg over our left leg. And try to align yourself so that your knees are stacked up on top of each other. If that's difficult, you can keep the right leg on the ground and have the legs not connected, or you can even straighten that left leg. So find your variation. If you're with me with the knees stacked up on top of each other, Try to make sure you're really stable on both of your sit bones and not leaning too much to one side. We'll inhale, the hands come up. Exhale, grab your right elbow with your left hand and really open up that shoulder region. You can stay here or we'll continue to the next level of this posture, bringing the left arm around and back and connecting the palms together. If your palms um, aren't connected, you can use a scarf or a belt or a sock or even the back of your shirt. Just grabbing the back of your shirt and working with whatever prop you use to inch the fingers closer and closer to each other. I'll show you from the back what it looks like. The palms are connected. This is a really beautiful posture for any sciatic pain, any lower back pain. From the, from the leg position, we open up the whole lower back region. So that's what's happening on the lower part. And then on the arms, we're stretching out both of our shoulder regions in different ways. On the top, we're working on the tricep. On the bottom, we're like working on the bicep. So it's really beautiful overall posture for shoulders strengthening and stretching as well as the hips and the lower back. And slowly release, let's change legs. Crossing over the left leg over the right. Again, choosing what variation suits you best. It doesn't have to be the same variation on both sides. It can be something else. So if you're with me, we're checking that our knees are stacked that we're sitting on both of our sit bones, feeling grounded in our seat. Inhale, the hands come up. Exhale, grab the left elbow with your right hand for a moment here. And you can stay here as well. Or we're moving forward, swinging the right arm around and trying to connect fingertips. This is also a great posture to see the differences in flexibility of your shoulder. Usually one will be way more flexible than the other, depending on what's your dominant hand. Breathing deeply in this posture, inching the fingers towards each other. And slowly release, shake out the arms. Unwind the legs and let's move on to our backs. We're laying on our backs now and straighten up both of your legs. Let's bring that right knee towards us and really hug it towards your chest or to your right armpit depending what's more comfortable for you. Squeezing the leg towards you. Massaging those abdominal organs here on the right side. You can add an ankle circle here. And change direction. We're 
working on the circulation in your ankles and your feet. And slowly bring that right knee towards the left side, coming into a recline twist. Look towards the right side, open your right arm out, and breathe deeply. The goal here is to keep both of your shoulders on the ground while your knee um, gets to the ground as well, but you don't have to work on all of those parts of the position. You can choose to work on one today and another, another day. Slowly come back to center and hug that left knee into your chest now. Massaging the left side of your abdominal organs. Creating slight pressure in the hip region. A little massage. And circling the ankle in one direction and to the other. Slowly start to drop that left knee towards the right side. You can place your right hand on top of your knee and look towards the left side, looking towards your left hand. Releasing any tension from the back region. Massaging your abdominal organs with every breath. Working on your metabolism and your digestive system. And slowly come back to center. Let's bring both knees in for a hug. Bending both the knees towards your chest. Hugging both of your legs, grabbing both elbows, even lifting the head towards your knees. And just squeezing tightly, giving yourself a big hug here. And drop the head and slowly release into your Shavasana, your resting posture. Legs can be as wide as the mat or maybe a bit wider. For extra comfort and lower back health, you can place um, pillows under your knees. <sighs> Resting completely on the ground. Pull your shoulders away from your ears and rest them back down. Tuck the chin a little bit closer towards the chest to feel your neck a little bit more lengthened. And breathe deeply here for a moment. We'll be here for one minute. I know it can be difficult to completely surrender to the moment and not move or adjust. But it comes with many benefits, allowing your body to properly heal, to properly rest, to be 100% in the present moment. Returning to your breath and the movement of your breath. Allowing your mind to only focus on your breath and the sounds around you and the sensations of your body against the ground. Feeling your belly rise and fall with every breath. Make sure you're completely relaxed with your whole body from your toes to the top of your head. All the little muscles in your face melting towards the sides. Let's take a couple more deep breaths together, filling up the whole body with new air, oxidizing all the cells in your body with new 
Inhale, oxygen. And exhaling, completely releasing as much carbon dioxide as possible. Feeling your belly button reach your spine. <sighs> and keeping the eyes closed. Let's meet each other in a comfortable seat. You can use your hands to help you get there. <sighs> Just feeling the circulation flow back down through your body, feeling the movement of your body coming to the seated pose without seeing where you're going, seeing what direction you're sitting in. Just feeling. Return to your normal breath. Feel a beautiful open posture, heart forward, shoulders back, long spine. And bring your hands to heart center. Thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste. Thank you again for practicing with me. I really hope you enjoyed the class. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel to support this yoga YouTube journey of mine. Thank you. Bye.